What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on the updated triple threat vault actually. This is the single player triple threat mode where obviously you play offline. You guys obviously know um, you grind out all the way and you guys do get this Galaxy Opal Dominique Wilkins. And yes, we are on the no money spent account today. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, um, basically a couple things here. Um, obviously the updated vault, if you guys don't know really how this works. Um, every time you win the game, you actually get a chance to unlock the vault, and by unlocking the vault, you have a chance at all the prizes shown there. Um, one token, 10 tokens, 30,000 MT, 2,500 MT, diamond consumable pack, and also you guys get a diamond Zion Williamson, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, it's obviously a card that was in locker codes and stuff like that, um, and he doesn't really play all that different from the pink diamond that came out. So if you guys haven't gotten this card, um, this is a good chance. To get him um, triple that offline if you guys don't know you guys get a thousand tokens in total you guys get a pink diamond Serge Ibaka which is still pretty cool and he does evo up to an opal and then like I did say you guys get the galaxy opal Dominique Wilkins now this video that I'm recording here um, wasn't what I had planned for today I do apologize what I actually did have planned was a I'm not I can't tell you guys exactly what it is because I'm still gonna be uploading that soon um, but it was a pretty good idea. It was like a banger idea and unlimited made me want to rip my hair out So then I was like, you know what scratch that what we'll do is I will record a no money spent episode And I tried recording the no money spent episode and I wanted to rip my hair out like or no Sorry, I lied the no money spent video didn't want to make me want to rip my hair out the no money spent video I actually recorded for three hours and in those three hours this this little beautiful thing right here decided to glitch out on me and yeah didn't record any of my audio so the whole thing got corrupted my computer crashed the gameplay got corrupted everything literally everything got corrupted so on sunday when you guys see the no money spent video you guys will actually see the updates to the team you guys are going to see a little bit of some updates to the team probably with the mt amount and stuff like that but i'm going to try to hide as much as i can so if you guys are here for the updated triple threat vault um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips on how to actually win these games pretty fast pretty efficiently um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me if I think it's worth it to grind all the way for Galaxy Opal Dominique Wilkins Absolutely not. I really don't think so. Um, I did it on my account It was worth it in the beginning of the year, but the card is very much outdated at this point and also like The tokens are cool, but the token market rarely gets updated. So unless he gets, starts getting updated more frequently, I, I really wouldn't. So we're going to hop into a game here. Um, now in doing this, I'm going to show you guys a pretty good tip on how to win these games really fast and really efficient. So the reason why I'm running my lineup like this is just to one, I'm on the no money spend account, like I said, and you guys know I'm evoing up Marcus All and Jeremy Lin. Um, and then we do have Ray Allen. So in this situation, what I would normally do is actually run a player of my choosing that I want to do this with. Um, and then I would do one of two things one I would run a silver player here and a gold player here Preferably silver Jonathan Isaac and gold Mitchell Robinson and doing that um, Basically all you need is a shot blocker and then a guy that can actually play good defense um, And then I'm also putting Ray Allen on this team to show you guys another method that actually helps you um, Kind of score pretty efficiently as long as you have a player's release down pretty well And you can green their shot consistently. I'll show you guys what I mean in the game all right, so in the game here, um, on defense, it really doesn't matter. Like, you can really just do whatever you want. I generally will purposely flop and let them shoot. Um, obviously, they'll green it a couple times. They'll make it a couple times. But um, in all honesty, it's very easy to stop them from scoring, as you can see right there. Of course, Jordan's going to out-rebound Marcus All. Why wouldn't he? There we go. Good rebounds. Um, so the first method that I, you know, I'm going to tell you guys to do is uh, as soon as you guys get the rebound or whatever, hit pass and screen away. When you do this, it's kind of like five out and you want to run and then do a behind the back move. Now, you guys can see Jeremy Lin doesn't have like that really good behind the back move. And I'm not talking about the explosive one. I'm talking about the one where it's a quick, like, you know, behind the back animation. Um, and when you do that, you'll actually free yourself up. Guys like, you know, Baron Davis, Gilbert Arenas, they all have it. Um, as I said, I'm doing this with... Uh, Jeremy Lin though because you know I'm still trying to evil him and Marcus off so again as soon as you get the rebound You're just gonna call for pass and screen away What you can do is just honestly do a quick little like zigzag move right there And you guys can see you get wide open and you will score every single time down the floor So while you're doing this like I said you're scoring so there's other methods that do um, You guys know there's the corner like three-point method that you can do but I don't really like doing that method Like you can do it and it is a very efficient method like I won't even lie. It's just 
if you can't green it consistently i feel like it's really just up to 2k whether you make it or not this is literally a way to score every single time so again you just hit him with a quick little zigzag move and most of the time you will blow right by them if you go up against somebody like say like you know sometimes you'll match up with like a jordan or a kobe or a you know a Kawhi, somebody that has clamps and somebody that's a very annoying to go up on defense the method won't work like as well and i'll just completely tell you guys that right now but if you guys go up against even if you do go up against them you will get blow buys like this but if it doesn't i'm going to show you obviously other ways to score this is just the first way to show you guys it's very easy to do um like the reason why i like to flop and stuff on defense what a block by marcus all the reason why i like to flop and stuff on defense though is just so it actually helps it efficiently you know like the time will go by a little bit more right there you guys can see jordan tries to defend me again same thing you blow right by them for an easy dunk um but uh yeah what i was saying was again on defense you just want to like let them do whatever um but uh yeah so i'm trying to remember i was gonna say something i completely forgot i want to keep this like this whole thing rolling to show you guys how fast it is sometimes you know they obviously will get like you know stupid animations where they just decide to you know run the whole clock out it is what it is but yeah i actually completed like i said this on my main account and um it honestly like it was worth it like i said for the tokens and stuff like that so again i know a lot of people are going to ask me you know um what's a good lineup and stuff like that and like or like is it worth it and stuff like that so again it really it is worth it but it's not at the same time if you want like if you're a guy you know or girl you know whatever that likes having opals on your team yeah go for it you'll get two free opals from doing this but you guys can see this is a very efficient way of doing it i'm going to show you guys some other methods here after this game i just want to show you guys this is my favorite method for this reason exactly alone now obviously if you guys can get fast break situations you know leak out and stuff like that and try to score but right there you see that i missed that three like he's on fire you know everybody's doing their own thing unfortunately you will miss wide open shots and stuff like that um i don't even recommend taking fast breaks stuff or fast breaks and stuff like that because right there you see like i wouldn't have scored again so same thing we're gonna go right around them easy dunk or easy layup whatever happens so right here you guys can see they were missing a lot of open stuff and we only missed one shot and it was that one shot that you guys actually saw so it's very efficient you really are scoring every single time down the floor like i said i'm gonna play one more game and show you guys um obviously you know some other ways to score pretty efficiently while doing this now a lot of you guys are going to ask me too about how the vault really works like i said when you win a game the vault comes up and you click you know x if you're on ps4 or um a if you're on uh xbox it's not going to open every time and unfortunately when it does open i would say probably 90 percent of the time what you're going to get is one token um and then the rest of the time you're probably going to get like uh what is it 2500 mt whatever it is although that's kind of an l at the same time you're still at least getting something out of it so it's definitely worth you know going and playing this and whatnot um like at least a little bit especially if you are a budget ball like you guys know this is the no money spend account that's why i'm trying to grind up a little bit to do this um so yeah this is obviously strategy number two now i do like shooting with my meter off so this really just depends on you know the kind of player you are like i said i like shooting with my meter off so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call the pass and screen away now when you stand like in this spot you guys will see ray allen has a little bit of space when you kick it to him he's gonna be wide open for that three now i do recommend using or doing this with somebody that's a fast shooter the reason why i'm doing this with ray allen on this account is because i know ray allen's released very well and um you know i kind of it's a no money spent account so i don't want to be burning contracts and stuff like that i like i said i leave them open I, I don't even care on defense to even remotely try to play defense um so right here um again you'll see when you call it again right allen's gonna go stand there i just call it a couple times to make sure he'll stand there kick it to him wide open it's a green bean as long as you know how to time the release properly on a card like i said you will be able to green that shot every single time now i'm gonna show you guys when he does get takeover um what actually ends up happening is um they will press up on you so you won't actually be able to uh you won't actually be able to get that wide open three but until they get that you will get that open shot and as long as you guys again can consistently green that you won't have any problems so again you really just want to stand where the elbow is stand a little bit you know maybe off to the right or to the left whatever it doesn't really matter as long as ray allen or whoever you're using has that spacing it'll get you wide open threes the whole entire time so again i just flop and stuff like this on defense it really doesn't matter to me um if you're going for blocks if you're going for rebounds it is an efficient method um and same thing this is going to give me good assist with jeremy lynn so i'm going to set this up one more time here you see how ray allen's going to go to the corner so all i'm going to do is go to the other side here obviously i know it's not going to work with marcus all so again he's wide open four for four on the three-point line 
Four for four with greens is just an efficient method to keep on scoring. I actually want to show you this. I, w I was just going to end this gameplay, try to open up the, or end this game, try to open the vault, and then show you guys like a uh, another method in a different game. Uh, but I want to show you guys, now that he has takeover, what's actually going to happen is they're going to press me, which obviously that's what happens when you get takeover and stuff like that. So you'll see when I do try to do this method, he does get pressed. So when in situations like this is when I will go back to that, um, that method of running, you know, the pass and screen away off of a rebound. Like it's because at this point, normally when you get sharp takeover on whatever card it's because you're either four of four or five of five so the game is basically already almost done um another thing you can do and again this is only if you can really time the release properly is i'll wait a second and i'll throw it up and then you can get wide open right there i actually missed time the release um luckily marcus all gets that rebound but you guys can see you'll still get open for three so again as long as you're timing the release properly you will be able to green it but worst case scenario if um you know you aren't able to green it and you're finding yourself not able to green it just um literally just switch back to what you're doing and also when you see the screen change like that you can pause the game and go to quit and it'll actually give you you know like the win and you'll be able to open up the vault you can't do it too soon though so if you if you quit one time and you realize hey it didn't give me the win what the hell i have to start over you have to wait when the screen changes it's right before you get to the mt screen so this way, um, it kind of saves you some time in a way. So you're not sitting there waiting for like the MT to like load up and stuff like that. So we actually get the vault open and we are going to be getting a token. Like I said, 90% of the time, you're going to be getting one token. All right. So here in the third game, another good method, like um, I was going to show you guys before is actually, if you go to the corner here, this is the method I was talking about a little bit beforehand. Um, they will back off you. And when they do back off, you do get wide open threes. Now, the reason why this method, I mean, I know a lot of people like doing this. That wasn't even a three right there. The reason why I don't like it is for a couple of reasons. One, you guys saw Lin was reaching and because he was reaching a lot, it actually forced me to um, not take a three. It actually bumped me in front of the line. So when you're standing on the three point line, the computer will reach a lot. When you call for that screen though, they will back up. And every time they do that, whether you have sharp takeover or whatever it is, they will back up. Also, another problem with this method is if somebody, if like the person that is defending you, if they have, um, you know, if they have like a certain like um, rating on defense or whatever, they actually won't back up. Like not every single player will. So I don't really like this method all that well as again, we kind of get lucky right there. We didn't even green that one and it did go in. Um, so that's why I'm showing you guys this one last. It is an efficient method in a way. It's just not my favorite. That's why, again, I'm showing it to you guys last. Um, cause eventually, like I said, there will be games where it doesn't work. Um, di the difficulty gets raised as you go through this. So if you guys are still trying to complete these, um, and you know, you're finding out that it's not really working for you. Like right here, you guys see, like, it's not even, he didn't even like he hit the screen, but he didn't even back up. I just got lucky cause I greened that shot. But, um, yeah, that's why this method really isn't like the best for me. Um, if you guys are finding out that, you know, like these methods aren't working for you, there is other things that you guys can definitely do that does um, work out very well. Um, one of the most efficient things that you can do as well is just a simple offense of running a pick and roll, um, doing the pass and screen away, running a pick and roll and throwing a lob. Again, that's, excuse me, <laughs> that is kind of hit or miss um, as far as like what the computer is going to do. Um, corner method, like I said, it does work. They do back up most of the time. But like I said, it's not really my favorite. So in all honesty, my by far my favorite, by far the most efficient thing in my opinion is to do this method right here, doing the pass and screen away thing, doing the behind the back or, you know, just zigzagging a little bit, getting wide open and getting easy dunks because it's efficient. You're scoring every single time down the floor. And if they do bump you and they like they kind of stop you from doing that behind the back, it's literally as simple as running back again and setting it up all over again. It's literally that easy. So um, I hope these tips did help you guys out and kind of help you guys finish these games pretty quick. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to, I could have just shot that. I should have honestly just shot that. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing this corner method. Just kind of show you guys how, you know, the difference of like efficiency of um, each method is. And then yeah, we're going to try to open up the vault one more time. If it opens, cool. If it doesn't, oh well. But yeah, I just want to make this video and show you guys, you know, how to get through these boards and um, or how to like win these games efficiently. And also, you know, get yourself some, uh, you know, new little token rewards. Like right there. Like I'll show you guys real quick. See how like he kind of bumped me and stopped it. It's literally simple about going, calling for pass the screen away again, setting it back up and getting yourself an easy dunk. Final vault. Will it open up? Will it give me Diamond Zion? Like I said, we're on the no money spend account. So if we can pack Diamond Zion, that'd be kind of dope. Not going to lie. Um, with these new vault updates, I probably will spend the time to grind out more. Unfortunately, we don't get that open. 
it is what it is you know what just for you guys just because I feel bad because this is gonna be more of a later upload and you guys know I like uploading a little bit earlier on in the day I will play one more and just try to get the vault open one more time so this is gonna be the final game here hopefully we can actually open up the vault and we are of course not. well it is what it is I tried to open it up one more time but like I said there are plenty of new vault rewards and it's definitely rewarding for the vault rewards themselves I don't think you know grinding all the way through is really worth it but definitely getting these vault rewards I think is a good idea so if you guys are new thank or well, okay hold on if you guys did enjoy do me a favor leave a like on the video would be greatly appreciated if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and with that being said boys i will see you in the next video